Lithuanians are a Baltic ethnic group native to Lithuania, a country situated along the southeastern shores of the Baltic Sea. They speak Lithuanian, one of the oldest living Indo-European languages, closely related only to Latvian. The Lithuanian people trace their origins to ancient Baltic tribes who inhabited this region for thousands of years, maintaining their distinct language and culture despite centuries of outside influence. By the Middle Ages, Lithuania had emerged as a powerful state in Eastern Europe under the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, later forming a historic union with Poland that would shape its destiny for centuries to come. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, established in 1569, became one of the largest and most influential political entities in Europe. In 1795, Lithuania was annexed by the expanding Russian Empire, beginning more than a century of imperial rule. Under Russian occupation, Lithuanian identity came under threat as the Tsarist authorities attempted to suppress the language and Catholic faith. The Lithuanian press ban of 1864 to 1904 sought to erase national consciousness, but instead fueled a cultural revival through underground book smuggling and resistance movements. After a brief period of independence between World War I and World War II, Lithuania was once again subjugated, first by Nazi Germany and then by the Soviet Union. Soviet occupation brought decades of repression, forced deportations, and attempts to erase Lithuanian sovereignty. Despite this, the Lithuanian spirit endured. In the late 1980s, amid the crumbling Soviet system, Lithuania became a focal point of the Baltic independence movements. The peaceful demonstrations known as the Singing Revolution and the massive Baltic Way human chain united millions across the Baltics in a call for freedom. In 1990, Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to declare independence, marking the rebirth of a proud and resilient nation. For this video, I've gathered the raw genomes of 10 ethnic Lithuanians from the Human Origins dataset. I used academic tools such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, but also tools I developed myself, such as Mageplot and Trait Predictor, to analyze their genetics and generate the content you will see in this video. According to FST analysis computed with AdmixTools 2, the closest ethnicities to these 10 Lithuanians are Belarusians, followed by Russians, then Estonians, then Ukrainians and Czechs. Interesting, the Finns aren't even among the top 10 closest ethnicities to Lithuanians, with Bulgarians showing up before the Finns. This is due to the high degree of genetic drift observed in the Finnish population. The most distant ethnicities were the Denisovans and Aboriginal Australians. Consult this Mesolithic Ancestry breakdown chart. It was generated with AdmixTools 1. It shows that the dominant ancestry component in Lithuanians is the Anatolian Neolithic farmer component, which makes up 36% of their ancestry. The second largest component is the Eastern hunter-gatherer component, which tends to be higher in Northeastern Europe. Then comes the Caucasus plus Iranian Neolithic component that the Proto-Indo-Europeans brought to Europe. Lithuanians also score 18% of the Western hunter-gatherer component, which is higher than what is typical for their Slavic neighbors. This Bronze Age model breaks down the Lithuanian genetics into the three base components found in most Northern, Western, and Central Europeans. The dominant component by far is the Corded Ware component, which was responsible for the spread of Indo-European languages in Europe. Lithuanians have some contribution from the Anatolian farmers and Western hunter-gatherers as well. Going a bit further in time, Lithuanians can be modeled as a mixture of Bronze Age Balts with peoples of the Anetis culture and Paleo-Balkan people. This is due to the heavy Slavic admixture in Lithuanians, which shifts them slightly toward the Balkans relative to Bronze Age Balts. Here's a model that directly estimates the Baltic, represented by Iron Age Lithuanians, Slavic, and Uralic ancestry in Lithuanians. According to this model, Lithuanians have 59% direct Baltic ancestry, together with 31% Slavic and 9.5% Uralic ancestry. I generated a 2D PCA chart on the basis of an FST matrix I computed using AdmixTools 1. According to this model, the Lithuanians can be seen as an intermediate between Poles and Estonians, or alternatively as an intermediate between Mordovians and Finns, or an intermediate between Russians and Karelians. I constructed a phylogenetic tree of some Eastern and Southeastern European populations using this FST matrix. According to this phylogenetic tree, the Georgians, Turks, and Dagestani Lesgians form a cluster of their own. The Eastern Europeans form a large separate cluster. Within the large Eastern European cluster, two subclusters are visible, the Finnish cluster and the non-Finnish cluster. The Veps, Finns, and Karelians fall in the Finnish cluster. The Bosnians, Hungarians, 
and Croats make a subcluster of their own. Lithuanians fall in a subcluster with Estonians. Norwegians, interestingly, fall in the same cluster as Mordovians, Ukrainians, Russians, and Belarusians. Here are their results with my trait predictor tool. The most common detected IDNA was R1A, which was found in four of the seven male samples. One sample scored the exotic E1B lineage. The most common predicted phenotype was corded Nordid, also known as proto Nordid. Two samples scored alpinized phenotypes, Gorid and Alpinid. The most common predicted eye color was blue, with six samples being predicted to be blue eyed. Light brown eyes were also present. The most common predicted hair color was light brown, but dark blonde and dark brown hair colors were also present. The most common predicted hair textures were wavy and curly. No sample was predicted to be kinky haired. The most common predicted nose shapes were Greek noses and neutral noses, which are indicated by a roughly equal score for Greek and snub nose shapes. Almost every sample was very predisposed to male pattern baldness. The Lithuanians had an average predisposition to depression, low predisposition to bipolar one, with the exception of two samples, average predisposition to autism, and a predisposition to very high empathy. The Lithuanians had low odds of allergies, most were likely lactase persistent based on their LCT genotypes, and surprisingly, three samples scored high for the risk of autoimmune disorder based on HLA genotype. The Lithuanians had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, high odds of gout, by European metrics, low odds of atrial fibrillation, and slightly below average odds of cardiovascular issues. Four of the samples carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JRK2 gene. Every sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene, which is typical for Europeans. The Lithuanians had average predisposition to obesity based on FTO gene genotypes. The Lithuanians were predicted to have higher levels of bad LDL cholesterol, lower levels of good HDL cholesterol, and higher levels of glucose. One sample carried risk variants for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene. Most samples carried risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene. The most common predicted blood group was by far A, but there was one sample who likely belonged to the O group and one sample that likely belonged to either B or AB group. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in the description.